Snoopy and Anthony. Hey, boy. You ever titty fucked a man? Believing that these are exposés and they're done with journalistic integrity. Documentaries. Documentary style. <laughs> yeah, this right. is nothing more than getting porno and lewd acts on television. And I love it. And you know something? At HBO, they're allowed to show any of that. You know, they could show this stuff. Usually, they don't show uh, rated X movies. You can't see that on uh, HBO. But you could catch the occasional boob and full frontal nudity in the movies they play on HBO. But this is a whole new level. This is hookers and Johns having sex. Mm -hmm. Real people, real down and dirty, filthy, smelly language. It's uh, Hunt's Point, Anthony. Hunt's Point. I said Hunt's Point. Hunt. Hunt. I, I want to go there. It's in the Bronx. I it's in the Bronx? There. Yeah, I've hooked Named up after a Michael Hunt, as a matter of fact. <laughs> they called him Mike for short. Oh, that's Mike's town. Right. Um, good old Mike. And uh, the hookers there, um, uh, apparently, they have been chased out of there. Or well, they were chased to there. From Manhattan. From Manhattan. Because they're, they're running rampant. Problem? We might what? have a problem. What? Uh, Rick. Rick. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we got pulled over here. Hold on. I mean, we're trying to work things out. All right. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. What happened? Oh. What happened, Rick? Well, that was close. What happened, Rick? We had a guy, uh, a couple officers, pull us over and tell us that they wanted to know if we saw a problem with what we were doing, and of course, my response was, "What are we doing?" And that just didn't elicit the answer I guess he wanted. So. Uh, All right. She's had to cover up for now. Okay. And uh, okay. so we can make our way back. And he, he just he's just trying to, as he says, make sure we don't get taken in for anything. Ah, uh, what what street are you on? Uh, we are we are at 50th. Oh, okay. Go to 50th. All right. So she's now she now has her. What shirt. did you What did you asses have a bet when we were gonna get picked up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you <laughs> you dick. You dick. Who's getting punched in the face first? Yeah, Steve, who do you want to punch in the face first? <laughs> and we're not, we're not too cut to veal, Ope. I'll smother him with my breath. <laughs> you jerk. Come on. Well, I had 45th. Ann had, uh, ben had 46th. Uh, Ann had 44th. And Jim had 43rd. Well, nobody wins. <laughs> All right. Not yet. <laughs> Only the fine listeners of this radio program. Yeah. God damn it. All right. And Steve got great uh, video. Of Steve Florida. got great video. And again, we appreciate <laughs> the uh, the officers who uh, came and told us that yeah. maybe it would be smarter not to proceed. So they gave us a warning, and we respect that, I guess. Yeah. yeah we have a good relationship with uh, yeah. New York's finest. Uh, exactly. All right, Rick. And thank why you. jeopardize that? Yeah, of course. All right, Rick. All right, guys. We'll see you in a few. All right, cool. Hey, did someone right. grab me a coffee? <laughs> you're, a, you're such a dick. All right. <laughs> they just realized we had a pet. <laughs> I know. Then they get mad. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, the hooker special on HBO. Anthony. Yeah, so they, uh, they uh, do it under the guise of a documentary. But what we saw in this special was um, a lot of oral going on. A lot of oral by these hookers. Mm. Who was the chick showing off her oral technique for about 30 to 40 seconds? Yeah. Car after car after car. It was one girl at the end of Doing the special. Doing it as she's standing up. Yeah, she was the one with the, like, she had little blonde curls or something. Yeah. On looked the like, front of her hair. Like uh, one of those bobblehead dolls you yeah. get at, uh, like, a hockey game. Her she, head motion was so fast, it was like a woodpecker's head Shirley on a Temple tree. Hair. She yeah, she had Shirley Temple hair. And they showed her in various uh, situations. One... Uh, it was through a car window because they they videotaped. I guess well, they used a hidden camera, and they'd show these girls walking up to the cars. They'd fuzz out the license plate, but that's it. That's it. So if you uh, saw a car, you know, hey, that Nissan looks familiar with the little dent over there or something. Uh, it was pretty much giving these guys up. With the uh, my kids an honor student bumper sticker. Right. Yeah. They, they showed one shot. It was a silhouette, like. Uh, just the black outline of the shadows, and you could see the junk in hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that was the whole montage they did of her technique. It's great. And uh, she looked they like showed through the window, our heads just going. She looked like uh, she was a robin trying to get a worm out of the ground. A worm out of the ground, trying to pull that worm out <laughs> like of the trying ground. Trying to get a, one of those worms out of like a frozen ground, Anthony. Yeah, and he's holding on for hey, dear life. Robin's got to eat. Right. <laughs> robin's got to eat. And uh, they showed her head bobbing up and down the, through the car window. Then they show her, um, uh, uh, the guy's leaning up against the brick wall. 
and she's like bent over kind of sideways. Yeah. yeah. A little sideways. Wham, 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 just going to town. I think she's going to need a chiropractor. Yeah, that could hurt her back. A uh, hundred uh, point is uh, in Brooklyn, not the Bronx. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That was in, no, Hunts Point. Hunts Point, Hunts Point. I thought that was the Bronx. Uh, How could know. you not I'm, know where the hookers are? Dude, here's the deal. I've always gotten them on the west side of New York. I've never ventured into the Bronx because I'm not as familiar with the Bronx real estate and where they yeah. are. I'm not saying I'm above mm. it. I just don't know where they are. Right. So if somebody could tell me, I'd be uh, forever grateful. All right. My regular cruises around a car on the west side. and uh, Your regular cruise? The she, best part of the special last night? Girl. The best part oh. of the special last night was uh, the guy. I guess he was getting so worked up. Sounded like he was a big ass mother effort too. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, the whole confrontation started off with, uh, you know, him. How can I explain this? Uh, just, yeah, it's kind of tough to explain what just, was going on. Just being uh, very macho to the hooker, and yeah. by the end of it, she had something going on with this guy where he's admitting everything. Yeah. Things he wants things to he, do to other to guys, other men, as she is uh, doing things to him. Uh, manually and uh, orally, she's doing things. Uh, he asked her to um, roll a condom onto her finger and then use that on him. Yep. And as she's doing that, he's yelling, oh, my God, I want to. And then he was talking about satisfy other men. He's using terminology. Not most other men, her man. Yeah, yeah. Whether, uh, you know, who knows wh who her man is. Oh, I want to I want to suck on this, and I want to touch and, you know, jumble these around. And, <laughs> yeah. and he's getting into graphic detail. And, and what hustle that. Hustle that little thing. And give a little tickle to that. <laughs> right. You know, a little rub and a tug here. A little nuzzle here. A little nuzzle. It's like, holy ass, dude. Relax. And he asked her. Oh, Jesus. And he's screaming this. And he then he asks her to put her uh, lower, uh, uh, her bottom, yeah. uh, right against him yeah. uh, so he couldn't breathe. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's a nice request. That's the only one I really liked. It. But, but, no, as he's Sniff. doing this, he wanted to do this, and he was telling her this because he wanted to imagine that it was her man. Oh, yeah, no. And that he was actually uh, uh, going to do things to uh, yams. As they uh, hung down. The sniffing is nice, though. Oh, God. It's a, Norton, it's a hooker. But what? She's it's a feelings? hooker, for God's sake. So should she not be allowed to vote? It's disgusting. Uh, yeah, they got morals, too. We learned what they will and won't do. Right. Chris, what's going on? Yo, boys, that might have been the funniest thing I've ever seen on TV. It was, Wasn't that good? It was oh, great. I didn't even know it was on, but I was, I was watching the Eco Challenge, which is great, by the way. Uh, but then I'm flipping around going, oh, my God, I'm missing this. You just mm -hmm. couldn't tear yourself away from it. The best was, I don't know if it was the same big mf -er that you guys are talking about that was in, the, in like, an Explorer or something, and he's sitting there haggling with the broad. Yeah. Come on, baby, if I finish too fast, it ain't going to cost me 40 now, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's just sitting there like, no, 40, and she's getting all pissed. Yeah. Oh, it's still going to cost you 40. No, oh, come on, baby, it's just too fast. What about, I didn't even enjoy myself. What about the hooker for 30 bucks gets all pissed off because the guy wants to do a little touchy-feely, and she's not into that, and finally leaves the car? <laughs> Double. <laughs> all pissed off. Yeah, this <laughs> girl got so pissed, she's going, get your hands off. Don't don't you pull on me like that, because I guess he, he was pulling her head down. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> like grabbing hilarious. the side of her head. Head. And she goes, don't you pull on me like that. Don't you pull on me. And goes, and she's like, I told you to keep your finger out of there. Yeah. And she was mentioning the, the dirty yeah. spot. The balloon knot. Yeah. And, and she's like. that truck rack, rocking back and forth, though? That oh, yeah. was my the, God. The that SUV. Hilarious. That was hilarious. Slamming. The, the and, one old broad that couldn't get a date for her life, and oh. it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, and that same car kept pulling up, and what about probably the, sold out for 4 bucks for a Hummer. What about the voice guy just uh, rhyming everything <laughs> at Hans <laughs> Point? Yeah. yeah. That girl, uh, who was her? Destiny. Mm. Oh, yeah. She uh, she looked like she probably uh, commands a couple of bucks. <laughs> and then yeah, they're talking to her, and it's like 40 bucks. I think uh, the guy was going to give her 40 bucks for some uh, oral action and and the full deed yeah. to, yeah. like, slam her. That was so funny, though. God, you start off with the soprano, six feet under, and then the comedy really starts. Hell, yeah. <laughs> My God. Hey, guys, getting more flyers tickets? Um, uh, are you I hate to grovel, man, but, you know, are you a kid? probably their last home game. Are you a Kid Rock fan? Yeah, bigger oh. Flyers fan. Shoot. Uh, I don't know if you Huge have... Flyers fan, man. You guys really hooked us up today with great ratings in, uh, in Philly. Dude, you know what the funny thing is? When you guys this start is what, down this here... What, this is what I got left. I got a pair of uh, tickets to OzFest. 
Yeah, I'll take them. Dude, that's huge, Deal. man. Got a You're pair on. of tickets that sold out uh, with WYSP Ozfest July 12th at the Tweeter Center in uh, Camden, New Jersey. Yeah, you guys rock. Norton, you still rule. Thank you, fella. Of course he does. Chris, hold on the line. We'll give you the OzFest tickets. And, and once again, thanks for supporting you the show in Philly. You guys kick ass, man. I've been with you since day one down here. We got great news from Philly today, and we greatly appreciate it. So. Thanks, boys. We needed a little pick-me-up today. Ah, uh, any time, man. All right, Chris. But thanks. no reach-around, though. Uh, thanks. And... <laughs> I keep the cop has some great. Oh yeah, we well I heard a couple of stories thanks to Ben. Um, I heard a couple of stories about what Keith used to have to do. <laughs> now where where was this Keith? Uh, this, uh, this was we'll say someplace in the city. Okay, let's just say someplace in the city. And um, uh, you you had actually had to go out on a hooker detail. Uh, yeah, I, I've gone out on hooker detail a, a few times where you now you now think, why don't you explain your hooker detail? Yeah, because I would think now uh, uh, just hearing that I would think like uh, I've watched on an episode of Cops. Uh, here's an officer along with other officers in a maybe a hotel room. Right next door is another hotel room. The girl cop is dressed like a hooker. She goes out, gets a guy, brings him into the room. They negotiate the price. He says some phrase. She goes, okay, come on in. And the cops bust in and, and grab the uh, guy. Now, Keith, uh, uh, that must be what you mean by a uh, hooker detail, right? Uh, so, well, uh, no, we, I've actually never done hooker detail like that. No, no? Then, we, then we, my goodness, whatever do you mean? We, we've, we've done some street hooker detail. and. Uh, oh, yeah? Like you're, uh, you're, you're uh, making believe you're a John there? Keith? Well, or a pimp or something? Well, yeah. It, it, Things like, we do things like that sometimes. Well, you know. if it wasn't a pimp or a John, I can't imagine what else uh, they would have to have you well, portray. Well, there are certain areas where, so, let's say that... Wait, can, can you, let, me, let me visualize. So you make believe you're a married guy from Jersey. You're coming into the city for a little tail. There's the hot female hookers. <laughs> right. And you pull up, and then what happens? Um, well, some places they're not necessarily <laughs> women. As, as little Jimmy might know. You betcha. <laughs> oh, oh my God. And, there, you know, there is a case. And let me tell you something. Yes. The guys that are coming in from out of town, it doesn't matter how hot that this person might be. Yeah. They know. And they I know mean, that get, they're guys. Yeah, and you'll get the guys with the car seats in the back seat, and you oh, know. Oh, so like they got their uh, their family uh, vehicle where they might uh, take their young child to go oh, get yeah, some ice yeah, cream. Yeah. Well, Keith, don't they have to get you saying something sexual for money or something? Because I'm really I'm vague. I never discuss anything. And if somebody wants to go for, I just say, hey, you want to come for a ride? And they're like, what do you want? I'm like, uh, just if you want to come for a ride, I will never say anything until they're in the car. Little Jimmy, haven't we had this discussion before about yes. what to say and what not to say? <laughs> it's not about you, douchebag. Well, it's, not, it's about educating people out there who may want to... Well, I'm no, not the only guy in the using our radio show to get info so you don't get <laughs> freaking arrested. <laughs> Hold Keith, Keith on your own goddamn time. I, I want to ask Keith <laughs> this, though. Okay. Yeah, well, this, this is a much more better story that he's about to tell here. Well, Keith cruises for guys, dude. So, Keith, you had to dress up <laughs> as a hooker. Uh, no, no. Well, what happened was there are locations at where. Dude, tell me you tell uh, me you drive up undercover trying to pick up other dudes. Please tell me. Uh, yeah, I have done that. <laughs> Boy, how come that isn't on the NYPD uh, promotion uh, for recruits tape I've seen at the movie theaters and on television? <laughs> they have you dressed up like a hooker. No, no, he, no we don't. We don't dress. He up doesn't like, dress like. He, not dress he's up the guy like, in the car picking looking up for friends. dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Are you no, the guy? Not, no, on. wait a minute. Not even trainees, dude. Hold on. I would almost give that one to you. You're talking wait, wait. about just regular male. Okay, wait, wait, wait. If no, I'm wait, 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 wait. Hold together. on, hold on. If I'm confused, the listeners are going to be. Right, Keith, yeah. Keith. Yeah, we're confusing too many stories together. Are you posing as the person looking to get money for sex or the person looking to pay for money? I uh, have done both. Okay, so he has been the okay. guy. You have been the guy? Now, how do you dress like a young cruiser uh, out there well, looking? If, you, when you're cruising in a car, you're just in a car. <laughs> yeah, but how do you dress like a young stud hustler <laughs> from the <laughs> street? Standing on the street corner, do you leave your underpants at home? No, no, no. you have no, Dustin no. Hoffman you, cut there, your hair first? There are certain <laughs> locations where it's just like regular dudes just standing out there. And then what happens? Do you pack a pickle? <laughs> well, you know what? I happen to have been standing there one time, and I've actually only done this once. Yeah. And, once, is, uh, once is one, one, one two, was more man. than enough. Exactly. Uh, I agree. Like, that, you get talked into these things because nobody else wants to do it. And, you know, you want to be a team player. 
<laughs> and the popular GM of a radio station pulls up, <laughs> says he, Cause Ken he, Stevens. Because he's had a tough week. He's had a tough week and he here. Figured, figured yeah. what the hell? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> huh, you're cute. And I, so I happen to be standing out there, and it's very slow moving. But finally, this dude comes up. And, did you get uh, butterflies? Like, ooh, this one likes me. <laughs> <laughs> or did you start feeling fat when they just drove past? <laughs> you know, you, you feel very unwanted. You're like, oh, my. What's wrong with me, right? Hey, you son of a bitch. I'm hot. <laughs> you got rejected by freaking husbands and bastard. <laughs> so this guy comes walking up to me, and, you know, uh, he asked me how much. Oh, no. For what, Keith? Did he say for what? Well, you know, and I happened to, you know, I... Now you got to do your job. Right. You got to ask him, him the right oral, questions. I told him for an oral treat, it would be twenty-five. <laughs> you cheap <laughs> oh, no. Nah, Keith, <laughs> now I got to have some self-esteem, <laughs> really, dude. You got to be worth at least fifty. <laughs> <laughs> the point of the story. Is, you got you, a pretty mouth. <laughs> so, dude, what <laughs> happens? You after you do it, they arrest him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got okay. got to catch him in the act, oh, right? God. You know, wait, wait a minute. Does, does no. Oh, Keith, what's really wrong with you? Well, what's wrong with you? You got uh, low self-esteem? <laughs> well, what it comes down to is now what happens is the guy... Hey, Keith, what was the code word you used to get all the other guys uh, to come in and get the guy? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole time he's going, oh, you know, I why did I I these guys would hurry up. You <laughs> <take this abuse. laughs> realize the tape is off? <laughs> 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 realize he's off from work that day. <laughs> hey, wait, I'm not even working today. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> no one I'm, knows I'm I'm that. You know what? I called no, the No, Keith, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm taking a beating like a no, jam. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. We're sorry. It is very funny. Holy well, yes, it's Tuesday. I'm not supposed to be working. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so so now you, so, you, you say 25 for well, treats. So I, I say 25. Right. Now, he turns around and says, well, how much for an oral treat for you? Oh, like Meaning he, he to wanted give. a service. He wanted a service you. Right. So now oh. I was like. Oh my God! I'm like, what the hell is that all about? You know? Tell me the price list at roll call for this one. <laughs> I'm like, you know, so I tell him thirty five. Oh, look at you thinking, Thanks. you know. But I mean, but if you were a gay guy out on the street and you're getting an oral treat and getting money, I mean, it's like a win win situation, don't you I, think? I think that price would be cheaper than the uh, you having to uh, give. And right. That well, was, basically, and, and I, that was going. I think you screwed up, Keith. Well, basically, what happened was that you know it was it was it, he said fifteen. Yeah, like, you're not supposed to haggle. So I, I accepted his proposition. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I gave the, I gave the uh, code for move in for the code for C sucker to address <laughs> the, to arrest this gentleman. Is the code pulling down his zipper and going to town? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when the, when the guy was done, did he ask for his Ticketmaster chargeback? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> but uh, so they move in, they hey, arrest Keith, put your goddamn <laughs> clothes back on. <laughs> boy, boy, they this arrest Keith, this gentleman. Boy, this Keith really gets into his job. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they roll up then and uh, yeah, we, arrest him. We arrest this gentleman. and uh, Do they do they have to uh, make like they're arresting you? So Yeah, yeah. They, so it, it doesn't blow your cover? Right. Blow his cover. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, basically, I mean, we were we were out there for a, a long time, so this ended up being the only person that we caught doing uh, this, I guess. You didn't get any more dates? But how close did you uh, get to, uh, you know, yeah. an uncomfortable situation? Because I'm thinking if I'm one of your pals and I'm on the job, I'm going to make you sweat a little bit before we show up. <laughs> oh, that would suck. Did All right, get, well, come on. All right. Did you get no, 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 no. Well, everybody follow, is, follow me. Uh, everybody God, is pretty close the guys. to this whole situation. <laughs> yeah. Serrano's got the discs. Serrano's got the discs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they move in. They, they, you know, they lock the guy up. And then, you know, I, I, I was taken back, and I had never done this before. So I was talking to one of the guys who does this on a normal basis. And I yeah. said, dude, this guy wanted to give me money to... To you know, take care of me. Yeah. And they says, you know, that's a regular thing. Really? Yeah. So, you know, when we got back to the station house, I said to this guy, I go, uh, Oh no, you talked to him? Yeah. Well, he, I, I came in and I was pretending I had my hands cuffed behind my back and everything, you know. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, you know, what happened? I'm like, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I said, uh, I said, where did you just come from? And the guy ended up, he was in some gay bar. Really? So it's like. So he was getting all worked up. So, yeah, yeah, but looking I, at what all I, that what hot I don't scene. understand is if you're no. in a gay bar. <laughs> hey, uh, we got audio of Keith as he's in the, the alleyway. Oh. Yeah. 
Don't just stare at it. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I said, where are you coming from? And he said he was in a gay bar. So, like, yeah. if you're in a gay bar with a bunch of gay guys, what are you going outside to pay some dude to, you know? Yeah, well, maybe, he was a little sh- maybe he's a little shy. Yeah. That's all. So, it, he, you know, he said it was really, like, the thrill of it, you know? I heard Keith got a little uh, angry at the guy. Yeah. Well, yeah, what ended up happening was... I, after <laughs> he doesn't want to, he's not going to stop. Hold on, hold on. I want to hear the tape of when you got a little angry with him. You can act like a man. <laughs> oh. Police brutality, he hit him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, so finally. Well, yeah. we got audio of the gay guy. Yeah. Stop that. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it. <Yeah. laughs> really? Suck it. Hey, Keith, did you have him on tape? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got to take it. Yeah. But uh, finally, the end of the whole story was I had my hands behind my back pretending like I was cuffed until uh, they pulled out his money and started counting it, and he had $85 in his pocket, and I got pissed off that he only offered me 15 <laughs> Oh, see? He had some more money. I, you know, I, then I felt cheap. He didn't think you were hot. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> He would have tussled your hair while you did it. So that was just one of the, the many stories, but I, I would say that that is the best. I, I got uh, uh, Keith's pickup line, Anthony. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. I like charging, guys. <laughs> well, this guy sounds... Uh, we got a tape of one of the uh, guys that wanted sex. Yeah. He's got a strange request, and he sounds familiar. Right? Tease my hair, fat boy. Huh. <laughs> How much would that cost? <laughs> and then he gets a little brutal with the guy. You stupid faggot. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Then uh, I guess he's at the police station. Explains how he got into this whole life. But... I drink beer until I pass out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I got more audio of Keith. Oh, of course you do. You're a little bitch. That's right. You're a bitch, and I'd bet you'd like to suck it, wouldn't you? <laughs> Wow, Keith really getting into it uh, as he does the undercover thing. Yeah, he's in oh, character. you like that, don't you, faggot? <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you just take a little bit more of a beating than you need to. Uh, of more course. audio of Keith the cop. Well, squeeze it! <laughs> <laughs> you know, first you get abused about the EverQuest thing. Yeah. Then you go to this whole thing. <laughs> That's interesting. This voice sounds a little familiar, and he was offering you uh, 50 bucks to do this. Can we see your stuff? Easy. Oh, wow. <laughs> that voice sounds familiar. Easy. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> it's not fun anymore. Ah, all right. All right, yeah. Very well, good. Well, K- Keith, thank God you're uh, keeping the streets safe. Well, uh, you know, and now, of course, i got to give the EverQuest plug why I'm here. Of course you do. You, know, you are so addicted. I anything to plug or eatabullet.com. <laughs> give your name. But uh, Bay Victus and uh, Fantor and Talari, got to say hello to them on the INA Row server. <laughs> Salvin, send me a... Uh, my name is Salvin. Send me a little tell and uh, free T-shirts autographed hey, by I got Onet. audio of uh, the guy that picked up <laughs> Keith, Anthony. Yeah. Virgin. Oh, he could spot that a mile away. Well, how would he know that? I don't know. <laughs> Real funny. Must All be right. Keith's tight ass and those male hooker <laughs> jeans he had to wear. Here's Keith's uh, fellow officers uh, watching, watching from afar. Anthony waiting, uh, waiting for the sign. Uh huh. They're looking through their binoculars, right. and I, I, I do believe they had this to say. It looks like I'm a wreck. It's in the hole. Oh, it didn't get that far. <laughs> And then uh, the one thing, Keith Keith is standing on the corner, and I guess at one point he, he tried to stand uh, with his hips out a little yeah. to attract a little more guys, and a guy driving by uh, yelled this at him. Is that supposed to be sexy? Uh, <laughs> and I guess it wasn't. <laughs> Two guys fighting over Keith? Hello, my brother. <laughs> You've got to buy your own. Wow. Uh. <laughs> Mule. <laughs> <laughs> uh. How about a nice bucket of eggs? <laughs> Wow, Keith, oh, relax. Geez. I don't want to get the eight, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fellas. Yeah. They're all I'm pink on the inside. I'm out of you later. All right, Keith. Yeah. There Hi, he goes. Keith. There goes Keith the cop, everyone. As a, a male hooker. <laughs> you know damn well he dressed a little different. And put like he alone. Just, yeah, yeah. He just makes it sound like he just went out there. Like, oh, I'm doing that. Let me walk out. He had to think about something. Maybe Keith's fellow officers could call us and, and tell us what they think Keith was wearing. Yeah, what do uh, what do the guys got to wear? You're not just going out there like you regular, you know, you usually do. Look at him cute in them jeans. <laughs> wearing them tight jeans. Did he wear 
Remember the thong from his party? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's old school. Ron, what's up? Hey, o and Hey. What's going on? Uh, Keith is gone, but I wanted to ask him, uh, if when a guy offers to perform on him, if the code word for the other cops to move in is... On your knees. <laughs> All right, Ant. Well, we still got to play the audio from the HBO special. Yeah, we got some audio of that. <laughs> Hookers just make uh, make for great shows. We can, You know something? We should, uh, somebody brought it up. We should try to just get one of those girls down here, see how much money we could give her to do things to herself. <laughs> Not a bad idea. I wonder what they, because we found out there's a whole moral thing that they have. They actually have some, like, l guidelines and lines that, that you cannot cross. They will sit there and hob it and let you slam them in these vehicles and put things places. But some of them don't grab their head and don't give the reach around the back area unless you're giving them more money or, you know. They can't even cop a feel. Right. A few of the hookers were like in Like, hey, don't you know? touch my chest who when you... Hell, when, who the hell do you think you are? I just paid. What about the girl that's that's hobbing the knob and she goes, no, I don't lick yam bag. She wanted... The guy's like, yo, baby, why don't you lick my beep, you know? Yeah. And she goes, no, I don't lick that. Maybe he stunk and she was trying to be polite. You're a hooker. I'm pay. Not, that's not me. It's Keith. Yeah, you, you pay... Hookers aren't supposed to have morals. No, you know something? If I you're in the car and you just paid this bitch some money, she better lick the sack. Hey, look, dude. Lick it. My, lick it, Jim. My regular will not even, this is true. It's one of the things I like about her. Will not allow me to lick certain parts of body that are uh, above I, the waist? Yeah. She won't let you lick there. No, just touch. No saliva transfer at all. Hummer with bag. Right. Uh, and I'm finished in three minutes, four minutes, we're under. Amazing. <laughs> You go on a date and you throw food on a girl's chops. And, and how much does that run you? Forty. Forty She's bucks. She's great. She's one of the sexiest people ever. And she she totally cleaner than any girl you're gonna pick up in a club. Won't even touch my mule without a bag. Won't even touch it. Really? Nothing. How long has she been in the business? I don't know, but she's a wonderful, wonderful girl. Can we get her on the line? Uh, no, I Incognito? don't have enough money. Oh, I would love to. Believe me, I'll see. I'll talk to her. Fake name. Yeah, yeah. We'll totally cover it up. Fake. Th she doesn't give me her real name. I don't know her real name. I just know the name she gives me. Are we allowed to give this girl like just I don't know, hundred bucks for just uh, helping us with our show? We'll give her like a hundred bucks just to get her on the air. I we got her on the phone now. Hi. <laughs> how you doing, Daddy? <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'll meet you in the stairwell. Dude, I would love to talk That's to your, your regular hooker on, on the show. I can't do it now because I don't have her number. I have to if she's freaked out, we'll even change the voice. We'll, go, we'll oh. do stupid radio Wait, if we have to. She doesn't work for the CIA. She gives hummers. All right. Hey, uh, any, any other action you got from her? Just I that. Could, I just, you I could? Spent the money. What does she charge for a full uh, plowing? No. Um, but How been, do you not know? I'm telling you because I've, only, you I've only been in the car. No, I'm too paranoid in cars. Yeah. I don't... I don't you know, all the way. It's it's too much. If a cop pulls up, what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, yeah, like he's not going to know. When you could see through the rearview mirror, so if a cop's driving up the street, I just go, head up, <laughs> zip her up. You know, it's a lot harder to pull your slacks up and hop over the console again. You know, it's a lot easier just to zip your trousers back up right. and have her lift her head and just smile like you're talking. What is this? All right, what's the problem? Oh, boy. What's the problem? What's the, the em problem? The emperor is not happy with his coffee. Oh, no. Are we going to have to break into uh, Jim Norton. Norton. Coffee Diva. Coffee Diva. Look at that cup. What, 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 what brand is on that cup? I don't know. Um, it doesn't taste good. I don't like it. Where do we get our coffee every day? I like Starbucks. I like Starbucks. And I don't like supporting the savages, savages. that run most of these delis. You're insane. Yup. You yep. betcha. You might be right. Yeah. Watch this. You want to taste this? <laughs> Wow, that's really nice. What, what, what? Throw it against the wall. I'm not going to have a diva. I'm a diva. I'm on Starbucks coffee. <laughs> you betcha. Jim Norton. Norton. Coffee diva. Coffee diva. I know Starbucks is a big world order type of thing. But at least they're not funding terrorism. I was walking down the street, and some construction guy was shouting at me. Hey, show me your cans. So I did. And he plummeted 17 floors and was impaled on a forklift. But my tits looked great. Please, wow responsibly. A public service announcement of the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the O&A virus. <sighs>